incredibly important to not network with people dumber than you. Think about that. It happens all the time. It's crazy. You get a group of people standing around. And really, there's two things you can think of. One is, if you can't find the mark in the room, if you can't find the dumbest person in the room, it's you. But if you look around and you don't have anything to learn from the people that are there, leave. Now, I say that in jest, and a lot of times when I make those kind of, oh, that's not very people-oriented, actually it is highly people-oriented. Highly, highly people-oriented. Because the worst thing you could do is waste your time with people that aren't impressive, people that you can't learn something from. Now, many people would say, oh, you can learn things from everybody. Yeah, but in a lot of instances, I've already learned what they have to offer from someone else. So I can move on. Well, so consider that when you're hiring people. See, I like hiring people that inspire me. I like meeting a young man, and when I'm talking to him, he has some talent, some skill, some passion, some drive, something that makes me go, wow, oh, this, this, this kid gets it. I like meeting a young lady. She's got some skill, some talent, some passion, some drive, and I can go, wow, oh, this young lady gets it. I can learn a ton from her. I like talking to folks who have been there and done that. Older folks, this isn't their first rodeo. And while I'm talking to them, they're imparting wisdom upon me that keeps my attention. Why would you hire employees that you're not impressed with? Now, does that mean they need to be as far in their career as you? No. Does that mean they need to have all the same skills and traits you have? No. But why would you hire people that you're truly thinking are dumber than you? Why, why would one do that? Well, I can tell you why they do it. it. Makes you feel better about being you. A lot of times I see this in the industry. The best way to pump myself up is to keep you down. A lot of times I'll see folks that do interviews. And they'll do the interviews and they'll hire the people, but they won't respect them. And in fact, the ones they do respect or the ones that might challenge their thinking, they don't hire. They don't want to feel of a lesser person. They don't want to feel like they have competition. They don't want to feel like, I can't hire this person. They may take my job. So they don't hire them. This is why I believe the highest level management person in the building should do the hiring. Actually should do the first interview, should do the last interview, should do the hiring. That's not to say that you can't have your people help you interview. And in fact, a great idea is to have the staff interview the new people that you're getting ready to consider hiring. They will tell you if this person's a loser or not. But I still do the first interview. And the reason I do the first interview is I don't want somebody lower on the staff that says, I don't want to hire this person because they might take my job, so I'm going to say they're not the right fit. I also don't want them to do the last interview. I want to be the person that looks at them straight in the face, and I'm actually doing a pre-orientation. I'd like to welcome you to our team. Let me talk to you a little bit about my hot stove. Well, what's that mean? Well, it means things that impact me and are important to me. So let me pre-orientate you. Let me talk to you about when you're going to come to start on our schedule. Let me talk to you about my philosophies and beliefs. See, I get to do that during the last interview, and it doesn't cost me anything. They're not on the clock yet because I haven't offered them the position yet. I want to make sure they get what it is we do, how we do it, why we do it, when we do it, where we do it. 
but it does bring me back to don't network people dumber than you. Don't hire people dumber than you. Don't hire people less talented than you. Don't hire people less driven than you. Now, does that mean they're going to compete with you on every front? No, they aren't going to compete with you on every front. That's perfectly fine. By the way, you won't compete with them on every front either. But if they don't challenge you, if they don't inspire you, if you don't look at this person and go, wow, I like this person.